the toes. So this is a great one for the hip flexors that pull the pelvis forward and put a lot of strain on that low back. Hey, it's Todd back again, the chiropractor with... <laughs> Darlene Bergener. <laughs> and we're talking today about the muscles and trying to get muscles in balance so they can hold adjustments better. So Darlene was talking about how the pelvis is the foundation of the lumbar spine and how a lot of us have chronic low back pain and how if we do two simple poses, it might be a, a way of supporting the adjustment and helping us move forward. Absolutely. So let's go. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, of course, there's lots of different things you can do often back pain is um, because of imbalances in the strength and flexibility of all of the muscles that attach around the pelvis. But we're gonna do two today. Um, so warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. We're gonna start at the front of our mat. I'm gonna keep the left foot up in the front. Gonna bring the right foot straight back as if it's on its own railroad track. Gonna bring the foot about you know, 30 degrees out in that, direction, in that direction. Gonna take the hips and square them back to the front of the mat. And we wanna make sure that we're not overarching the back and we don't, don't really wanna tuck the tailbone under either. So sort of find a neutral spine here. Really ground through that back leg, firm the thigh so it's not, not hyperextending but nice and strong. And then you're gonna start to bend into this front knee just till you feel a nice stretch in the front hip flexor, iliopsoas. Right. So, oh, it feels like really good. Yeah, so we're still working the left hip back and the right hip forward as we bend into the front knee. And then you can certainly open up the chest and start to bring the arms up. You don't want to be up here collapsed. You want to take the shoulders back and then down and <laughs> take the shoulder blades back onto the ribs behind you. Opening up through that chest, you can look up or keep the back of the neck long. And so you can decide how far down you wanna go into it. If the front knee goes in front of the front ankle, you have to spread the legs back and make more space. So we don't wanna strain the knee joint. All right, so we can be here. All right. And so Dr. Todd has a pretty okay? good, good position here. So yeah, you can keep working that hip forward a little Ooh, bit. Oh, nice, thank you. <laughs> oh, I can really feel it there. But that looks great, right? So his low back isn't over arched. Looks like he's in pretty good alignment, relaxing the toes. So this is a great one for the hip flexors that pull the pelvis forward and put a lot of strain on that low back. Another thing is the hamstrings that then um, also impact a lot of pull there. And I would do that on the other side too, Darlene, Certainly right? Certainly we would do both sides, right? And just a minute or two, a couple times a day, it could really help us move forward with that one. Okay, yeah, great. Just a couple of breaths in each one of these would be great. Okay, good. So in this one, um, we'll go back to that same side, almost that same stance, so bringing that right foot back. In this one, we're going to have the front leg straight. So we're going to straighten it so it's mostly straight, but not locked. So we don't want to hang on the ligaments, right? So bring it back, really firm that thigh so it's nice and strong and active. Again, we don't want to collapse the upper back. So take the shoulders back down away from the ears so we're nice and strong. And you can feel that. Oh, yeah. All of the extensors. This is going to be good for back pain, also for the neck tension because you've got all of that strength. If we can build strength in the back, that's going to help with that forward body position and keeping the, and those headaches. All right, so keep that back. Hands can be on your hips at first as you come forward, just till you feel the stretch in the back of the legs. All right, still work that left hip back, the right hip forward. Relax the toes. I feel it right there. That's yeah. all I need. And you'll see he's got a really good alignment of his back. Building strength here, building strength here, building strength in the thighs, and getting a nice stretch on those hamstrings that can pull Ooh. into the low back. So now to come out of it, come out of it safely. We want to spend as much time getting out of it as we are in. If you've got back strain, we don't want to come up like that. That can be very straining. So just bend the knees, get your weight under you, and then lift with your thighs to come up and come Ooh. out. That was, that was a PowerPoint. <laughs> that was a value bomb. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and if you want more value bombs, hang on for more content. Again, if you like us, give us a thumbs up, comments below. And remember and if there's to other subscribe. things you want to know about, let us know. We'll make some other videos for you. Oh, yeah. Happy to share. Woo!